Alright, uh, desk is a mess, but hopefully you can understand what's going on here um, through all the clutter. Uh, so I've got an actual LED for each um, light. So bar, fog, ditch, left, right, and back. And a four button key fob. So if we press alpha, it's bar, ditch, and fogs. We press it again, just bar, just fogs, just ditch. Press it again, it goes off. If we press button B, we get left, right, and aft. Press it again, just left, just right, just aft, aft left, aft right, and off. And if you press a button and you turn it on and you're doing something, after five seconds, it'll assume that the next button press you want is going to be off. That way you're not fumbling around trying to figure out how to turn it off. So after five seconds, if you press any button, it'll turn it off. Uh, button C is all on, D is all off, if you press D twice that sets your timeout, so 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 5 minutes. If we turn on the back and left, so those are dimmable because those are work lights, I'm going to show it over here so you can kind of see the difference. We hit the off button the first time and it cuts the uh, the output by half. Hit it again, it turns it off. You're probably getting a strobing effect on the camera. And then if we uh, if we hold down the all power button, it'll go to uh, flashers and strobe the shit out of everybody. It'll turn off. This is also monitoring the voltage in real time. So if it detects a voltage over 13 volts, it knows the alternator is running and then it'll disable the timeout feature. If the voltage drops below 13 volts, it'll turn it back on so you can't kill the battery. And you can see in real time, I'll turn everything on. And you can see the voltage drop. Turn everything off. The voltage comes back.